There are a few situations less enviable than that of a combat pilot trapped inside a disabled aircraft. Most of the time, the aircraft is moving at incredibly high speeds while losing altitude at dramatic rates. Moreover, the pilot might be disoriented or even severely injured. With few precious seconds before a fatal impact, the only thing that stands between the pilot and an inevitable demise is the yellow eject lever mounted inside the cockpit. During the chaos and confusion, the pilot needs to pull the lever, prompting the canopy to fly open, ignite the seat, and shoot the aviator up through the air, leaving the aircraft behind. Once at a safe distance from the doomed warplane, the ejected seat automatically deploys a parachute, and the pilot softly floats towards the ground. Even if the pilot is unconscious by this point, the seat is designed to land safely. The exceptional ejection seat technology has saved countless lives for over 80 years. Still, it would not have been possible if it wasn't for the Holloman High Speed Test Track Facility, where this technology has been tested and developed to make it as safe and reliable as possible at that moment when a pilot's life hangs in the balance. Doomed. Before ejection technology was adequately tested and developed during the 1940s, a pilot stranded inside an unresponsive aircraft was practically doomed. If the pilot was not injured or disoriented, there was a chance to bail out by jumping clear of the cockpit. However, that action had many significant risks, as the pilot could collide against the aircraft or get injured or unconscious. That is, if the ejection happened at all, as the speed, g-forces, and confusion could make it impossible to escape from the highly constraining space of a cockpit. The layout for what would become the modern ejection seat was envisioned by Romanian inventor Anastasia Dragomir in the late 1920s. Still, the technology was not used in combat until the latter years of World War II. Early ejection seats successfully increased the survival chances of a pilot in distress, but they often caused the airmen significant physical trauma and spinal injury. Additionally, as aviation technology evolved and faster jet warplanes were developed, helping pilots survive became an even more substantial challenge. During the 1950s, it was theorized that ejection at supersonic speeds would be unsurvivable no matter what ejection technology was used as pilots would not be able to withstand the g-forces exerted on their bodies. If the survivability of pilots was to catch up with the raw power and speed of newer aircraft, a new entire testing model had to be developed, one that could effectively replicate the supersonic speeds new rocket and jet engine aircraft were achieving. Holloman High Speed Test Track Inaugurated in 1950, the Holloman High Speed Test Track at Holloman Air Force Base in South Central New Mexico was originally a 3,350-foot-long ground test facility created to test a wide array of military systems designed to work at breakneck speeds. Due to its nature, the facility became an ideal location to test new seat ejection solutions and hopefully conceive a new generation of life-saving seats that would work even at supersonic cruising speeds. To this day, the facility is a crucial site for military technology development, thanks to its one-stop shop philosophy, which allows project crews to set up shop in the compound to drastically reduce the test costs and schedule issues associated with geographically separated project functions. For more than 70 years, the Holloman High Speed Test Track has thrived, and it has been considerably expanded to a length of over 50,000 feet. The testing facility has specialized in aircraft crew escape systems, rain and particle erosion experiments, impact testing, weapons dispense testing, electronic warfare, guidance system analysis, and a wide array of aerodynamic tests. The most noticeable element of the facility is the rail system, which looks very similar to railroad tracks. Still, it is used primarily to launch rocket-powered test vehicles called sleds. The rail system is close to the White Sands National Park, and comprises a concrete base known as the girder that supports the two primary rails and a single third rail track. The westernmost bar is known as the A rail, followed by the middle B rail and C rail. 
The rails run in a north-south configuration and are made of heavy-duty crane rail, while the tracks are methodically maintained to an alignment of no more than 0.025 inches deviation from a reference line in the middle of the rails. Throughout the years, the Holloman high-speed test track has been the site of many technological feats, and many speed records have been broken in the facility. It currently holds the world's land speed record for rocket sleds after a vehicle reached Mach 8.6, or 6,453 miles per hour in the rail system. The remarkable technology and the ability to reach hypersonic speeds have made the facility the perfect place to test and develop a new generation of pilot ejection devices. Ejection Science The Holloman High Speed Test Track has allowed scientists and engineers to develop what was previously considered impossible, an ejection seat device capable of taking a pilot to safety even when traveling at supersonic speeds. The rail system is capable of replicating the speed and g-force conditions many pilots will experience during the stress situation. Initially, the test track used living human personnel for the tests, with brave servicemen enduring overwhelming physical stress that often took their bodies to the limit. As technology progressed, the human test subjects were changed to highly advanced instrumental mannequins fitted with a wide array of specialized sensors capable of measuring all the forces exerted on the dummy. The massive amount of data produced by the mannequin is analyzed by a specialized team of human performance experts who are able to determine the physical characteristics a human pilot would require to survive such a force without permanent injuries. Such calculations are critical for ejection seat technology, as its effectiveness depends entirely on negating the physical stress that high-speed movement has on a pilot. Modern ejection seats are fitted with a computer that actively registers the speed, altitude, and direction an aircraft is taking, and it then modifies the ejection's functionality procedure accordingly. Exactitude. The detonation charge needed to eject a pilot traveling at subsonic speeds differs from the force required to discharge them safely from an aircraft traveling at Mach 4. The propelling power has to be strong enough to take the pilot a safe distance away from the disabled plane, but gentle enough to not cause permanent damage to the aviator. The Holloman high-speed test track allows ejection seat developers to carefully tune the rocket sleds to simulate the exact conditions of a vast range of aircraft in distress situations, and measure precisely how a human pilot would experience being ejected with different escape methods. Modern ejection seats tested in advanced facilities, such as the Holloman compound, are finely tuned to better perform even in scenarios with a significant number of variables. The seats can be adapted to save the lives of female pilots, smaller-built male pilots, airmen using heavier or lighter helmets or gear, or many other different scenarios. Every aspect must be considered, as it can be the difference between surviving or not when moving at over 3,000 miles per hour. If it wasn't for the contribution of the Holloman high-speed test track in allowing engineers to safely test every possible solution they could concoct, ejection seats might have never caught up with aviation speed advances and the lives of countless brave pilots would have been lost.